I'm Noah Rosenberg, the founder, CEO, and editor-in-chief of Narratively, and an alum of the Town Knight Center for Entrepreneurial Journalism Fellowship. And uh, it's a pleasure to be sitting here with Bill Gross, founder and CEO of Idea Lab. Uh, Bill, you've had quite a career, to say the least, 125 some odd businesses you've built from selling candy in junior high school to uh, you know, City Search and Picasso and so many in between. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur myself, I'm living the dream right now, having the time of my life, but it's also an exhausting, exhausting process. And I can't imagine doing that 125 times. So what is it about you as a person, as an entrepreneur, that has you know, led you to, to do this for so long? Well, being an entrepreneur, you know how gratifying it can be, how hard work it is but it's a great way to change the world, make the world a better place. And I go through life seeing challenges, problems, and I love finding technological solutions and then organizing companies around them because I feel that companies unlock human potential to solve those problems. Mm -hmm. And I can't build, run all the companies myself, so I can't take credit for doing that, but I love giving other people the chance to start a company mm -hmm. and feel that entrepreneurial joy and then make something impactful. Um, obviously, your, your finger on the pulse of, of what's happening in tech, and, and I'm assuming you've seen trends for better or for worse. You know, what are some of the, the bright spots right now? Obviously, the barrier to entry is so much lower. People can start a company and, and get access to capital so much easier than they could when you were first starting out. Um, you know, what are first of all, what are the, what are the positives of, of that lower barrier entry, that lower barrier to entry that you see right now? Well, first, you can get capital like you never could before. Second the global reach is un unbelievable. I mean, the fact that there's two billion smartphones in the world, you know, people walking around with a supercomputer in their pocket. The idea that there's that much computing power walking around, and that much reach, because those people are always connected, just makes there be so much opportunity. The other thing that's great about doing startups at this time, in, at this point in history, because I, I actually think this is a perfect storm, mm -hmm. perfect storm of opportunity, a combination of money, reach, but also talent. Never before were people this open to joining startups. Mm -hmm. Like right now, the startup lore is so great that people are open to taking that chance. And that is a, a, maybe the most important thing because without talent you can't do anything. Yeah. You, know, you can raise money, but if you don't have the people to carry out the mission. Any advice to young entrepreneurs, young journalists thinking about getting into entrepreneurship? Well, I would say if you actually are passionate about something, there is no reason not to go follow that passion. It's a better education that you can get almost any other way. You're gonna get the real school of hard knocks lessons by actually doing it. It could be very lucrative. It'll certainly be fun. And the fact that you'll have so much control over your own destiny makes it especially rewarding. So I really, really recommend it, but only if you're passionate about what you're doing. Okay. Well, thanks a lot. Yep, thank you.